Hello, water signs. It's me, Alex, and I'm here to bring you your weekly tarot. I hope you guys are doing well. Let's see what the good universe has for you, water. Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. This is my second reading for you. That first reading was just ugly. It was an ugly duckling. I was like, mm -mm, not today. We not doing ugly today, universe. A lot of you guys are feeling stuck. Um, oh, you know what? I feel like there's an opportunity right in front of you. Could be related to your finances or your financial security. And it's like the universe is nudging you, but you're like, I don't know, right? But uh, it almost even feels like a job offer. Uh, maybe for some of you guys is very different than what you're used to doing and you may be feeling a little insecure yeah you know what I just got this some of y'all are trying to talk yourselves out of this mm -mm. look at all these pentacles on the table and queen mama shoot uh-uh we got the hanged man <clears throat> you sacrifice for you sacrifice so much it's time to move on into your future. It's gonna be a shock to your system, I'm not gonna lie. It's gonna be a huge change, but also with that fool there, it's gonna be a huge freaking relief. First of all, the universe is about to rain down money on you and you will be able to juggle it, whatever that means. I have a two here, two of pentacles is not on the table, but for some of you guys, you may be concerned or worried about, can I afford it? And the answer is hell yeah. You got the nine, nine of pentacles here twice. The answer is hell yeah. Um, yeah, with the wheel of fortune. Yeah, look, money. <laughs> You're thinking about money. You're going off and trying to figure out, well, how am I going to do this, Alex? Baby, just throw money at the situation. Okay. This is crazy because the universe just showed me the picture of a dog. You know how like a wolf or a dog or somebody gets caught in a trap where their foot is tied? And you hear the term, oh, I'll gnaw my foot off to get away. That's what I'm getting from this. It's almost like some of you guys are, you feel stuck and you feel stuck for, you've been feeling stuck for a while. This is Pisces. Um, angels are saying maybe for the last two months. I feel like for some of you guys since November, I'm going to say that that's the month that's coming out. But it feels like since November, you have felt stuck. Um, you've been making sacrifice after sacrifice after sacrifice, but you don't really feel like you've made much ground. And I feel like there's this beautiful new beginning that just came and sat in your lap, right? Like a butterfly that lands on you is like, wait a minute, because y'all know butterflies just, it's like, they just flicker. Um, but the universe is telling you, go forth. <laughs> you know that was an angel, because I don't use the word forth. But you got, I feel like not only that, oh, interesting. Angels just said secure love is coming in as well. Yeah, you've been hanging upside down, sacrificing your whole entire life, your whole entire point of view. A lot of you guys been are at a crossroads, but baby, you've been at a crossroads since 2021, right? And the universe is about to eject you out of your comfort zone out of this crossroads <laughs> universe is about to put some nitrous in your gas tank okay um because i also kind of feel like especially with the financial security or the financial abundance that you have or will be getting you you guys have to move more towards something you love something that brings you joy something that opens your heart this damn um hanged man just keeps bringing me back Right. And especially as a water sign myself, I know how big our hearts are. I know a lot of us are emotional enablers, as in we overdo a lot of times because we want everybody else to be OK. But there's a strong message here. Scorpio Pisces Cancer that says, baby, you better do you. You better get better at doing you. OK. Wheel of fortune, fortune. Money is going your way. Abundance. You guys are the golden children. 
uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You're the golden children. So it's almost like the more you start to move towards your, your desire, your love, whatever makes you happy, the universe is just going to keep spitting up money at you. Okay. <laughs> right? It's like, all right. And this is the strength to keep going, keep going, keep growing. Ooh, I like that. Um, uh, uh, Dr. Seuss or um, what was the other one? Nursery rhymes. Mother Goose. <laughs> yeah, I'm old. <laughs> so I feel like with the strength card and the Empress, um, with mothering, right? This is Empress, Queen Mama, but she also has to do with creativity and growth and things of that nature. For you guys, you have to continue growth. And I do feel like you're stopping. That word was your, <laughs> by the way, you're stopping your own growth. That's why you have this tower moment in here. Because the universe, again, is about to land a butterfly on your lap. Your lap and you're going to take it. You're going to be shocked. You're going to be surprised at this beautiful financial gift that's headed or coming your way. And it's I'm being told it's only coming for you. And you better take it and um, take it. I don't want to say take advantage in a negative way, but take advantage of it in a good way. Right. This is not going to apply to everybody, but angels just said, and don't pay it forward. Meaning, and what I mean by that is there are some blessings, right? Blessings to me, how I see blessings. It's almost like this beautiful, you know, light of the universe. And whatever it is that you want, need, or desire, this light comes and it blesses and infuses and helps to manifest what it is you need, you want, you desire. But then your gratefulness, you add on to it to keep it glowing, and then it moves on to somebody else, right? To me, that's how the universe works, okay? When we say don't pay it forward, when the blessing goes on to somebody else, your gratefulness, your thankfulness, your joy, your happiness, you're using it. That's how you're infusing the blessing again to move on to somebody else. Whatever is blessed, whatever is manifested is what angels are saying. Do not pay that forward, right? So it's almost like your gratefulness, right? Your faith, your happiness, your joy. That is what you're paying forward to the universe, not what you physically received. Now that's a part of your problem, Warder, because a lot of you guys keep giving away what you physically received. All right, moving on. Yeah, and, and it, look, you're thinking, yeah, you're asking the universe, okay, I need more. Or I need more because cause little Timmy needs needs a new set of shoes. The universe is like, first of all, little, little Timmy is 35, <laughs> right? Little Timmy's 35. And those $250 Jordans that little Timmy wearing, boy, let little Timmy get his own damn Jordan. I'm sorry. The universe again. The universe is saying you're gonna have to be strong, right? Because the strength card represents your angelic and your carnal, your physical and your spiritual. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, yes, the universe is trying to grow you on both levels, spiritual and physical. But I feel like a lot of that is gonna have to do with making better use of your how do you say um, abundance. Right. As in, you may have to cut some ties, even with family members or kids. Now, if little Timmy's like three years old, that ain't your message. OK, <laughs> I can't with you, angels. <laughs> Pisces. Hey, boo. You here in your reading in the water sign reading? Scorpio, oh, baby. Um, we got Aquarius. We got Pisces again. We got Sagittarius. We got Taurus and Libra. We got Leo and we got Virgo. Shout out to my cancel dancers, right? But yeah, this kind of feels like a familiar reading that I've done in the past. And water signs, again, you guys, your hearts just flow. They, you just flow. No wonder you are the cup in the tarot because your cup fills up and you drink and drink and drink and then it fills up again and you're like, oh, well, I already, I'm no, I'm no longer thirsty. Let me give somebody else. And then you get into the habit of giving somebody else because you see the joy it brings when people are like, oh, yeah, girl, I needed that drink. And you like that feeling. So you try to do it more and more and more. And then when it becomes a habit, it's like, girl, where my drink at? Then, then water signs are like, um, all right, well, I got to get more universe. Can I get some more drinks? Cause my people's need. 
universe is looking at you like, if that heifer don't get her own drink, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me move on. Unlikely. Yeah, it's kind of hard for you guys to flow singularly, right? It's hard for you to flow for yourselves. A lot of you guys flow for so many. Get more information. Unlikely, get more information, remain positive. So you don't trust this. That's why you're still stuck. These three cards, I'm like, what? You don't trust this. You, yeah, it's almost like you're, um, what's the word? Betraying yourself by doing for yourself. Lord, a lot of you guys are mothers. I know that mommy guilt. I'm a mom too. But so I feel like this may be for a lot of my mommy water signs. Dads too. It doesn't, don't pay attention to gender. Ooh, ooh, in the near future. The, the Pisces let us off. So I feel like you got some sort of big change coming in Pisces season. So you can either, <laughs> I'm sorry for this, but angels are saying you could either ride that horse or be dragged by that horse. It's up to you. All right, water daughter. <laughs> I love you guys. If the reading does resonate, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Love you. Bye.